Hello and Happy New Year. I hope you had a wonderful New Year's Eve. We actually did not do anything again. <laughs> um, partly because from what I've heard, everything was supposed to close at 10 p.m. And my husband has been working a lot, so he needed to rest. Um, so he was sleeping at midnight. I did come into bed and semi-wake him up and uh, did a little countdown and give him a New Year's kiss. But the next morning he said, you didn't even wake me up. And I said, yeah, I did. He's like, oh, I, I, I don't remember. I don't recall nothing. So. so when it comes to goals, aspirations or intentions for the new year, I will be making another video because I personally um, have a system of setting goals and achieving goals. I have pieced together from a bunch of different sources. So it includes SMART goals and uh, I have 2022, five and five year and lifetime goals, all that good stuff. I am now about to go into town. I will show you the set, which is the Songtan Entertainment District. And I will show you around a little bit. A friend wants me to get robes from a store. They're supposedly very fluffy. And she said, I have to get one for myself too. So I might do that later on in the year. I'm quite excited for 2022. And um, yes, I also am getting a package ready for my mom because it is her birthday in January. Um, and I have to drop it off at the post office, obviously. I still have to figure out where the post office is. I have no idea. <laughs> So I was just checking for a box to send off my mom's birthday gift and I came across this. My husband and I were apart for quite a while due to our jobs and I used to send him care packages um, and they were holiday packages more or less. So I was thinking, hmm, this looks like it could be big enough for the stuff for my mom and uh, we kept some of the boxes um, just in case we need one to send something off well when I opened it up I realized it was actually the Halloween box that I sent him and uh, I made a bunch of little bats and I put some orange paper inside and I made a card, which this is just the envelope. I did find a box. This uh, is another box of stuff that I sent him. All right, so I found most of these things at the Korean grocery store. And I have no, no idea what any of it is, but they look cute and snacky. So I got all of those. Kind of looks like a caramel. Yeah. I don't know. But they look interesting. So that is why I got them. Looks like a coffee cookie. And then I also got this. And she loves these towels. And every time, the decorative ones. And every time I find an especially beautiful one, I get it for her so that's one of them so welcome to Sangtan entertainment district
So I am back home. Was not very successful. Um, I am going to have to go back and get the ropes because my friend did not clarify what exactly she wants. That's completely fine. And then I went into a jewelry store and uh, I tried on a wedding band, which I'll insert a picture right here. And I did like it and I sent my husband a picture, but my husband does not approve. Um, it is not of the quality that he wants from me so i think we might go to seoul there is a jewelry district which i can't think of the name right now um there's a jewelry district and we might take a look there maybe even for our anniversary which is coming up shortly can't believe um we've been married for almost two years we have been apart for over a year in those two years but that's life it's fine we we knew that that might happen i did not see a post office so i'm gonna have to i'll have to find it online or ask uh, a korean to help me out um which is fine i might possibly talk to a realtor and uh, see where I can go. So yeah, I'm about to pick up my husband and make some dinner, do some work and go to bed. And thank you for watching.